In today's video, we're going to look at how do we create a table of contents with heading styles in Microsoft Word. Ahoy, Peter here from Brighter Training, and in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to use heading styles in Microsoft Word to automatically create a table of contents. Now, this not only saves time, but ensures consistent formatting throughout your document. Now, first, we need to apply our heading styles to our documents, headings, and subheadings. So to do that, I need you to open your Word document, select the text that you want to use as a heading, go to the Home tab in the ribbon, and in the Styles group, choose Heading 1 for main headings, or Heading 2 and Heading 3 for your subheadings. Repeat these steps for all the headings and subheadings in your document. Now a quick note, if you find that you've only got Heading 1 and Heading 2 showing, but you do plan to use Heading 3, so a subheading of a subheading, uh, and it's not appearing, it's because you haven't applied the previous styles in your document yet. So you see here, we can see Heading 1 and 2. If I apply them, Heading 3 shows up, and if I apply that, then Heading 4 shows up, and so on. So let's just go through the document here and apply some different heading styles. Now you may like to change the formatting of the style. For example, for uni, you might need to use APA or Harvard style headings, or you might like all subheadings to be larger and blue. So if you'd like to change the formatting of your heading styles, here's how. So right click on the desired heading style in the styles group, click modify, and in the Modify Style dialog box, you can change the font, size, color, and other formatting options. Click OK to apply the changes. Now in this example, I'm setting all of the heading ones to be bold, centered, and double-spaced. And now I'm going to set the heading two to be bold and left aligned. And I'm going to set heading three to be bold, italics, and left aligned. And if I click OK, you'll see that the formatting for all of the headings has changed. Now I prefer to customize the heading styles first and then assign them, but you can do it either way. And the great thing is, once you apply the heading styles, if you make a change, for example, I'll change all of heading ones to be bright red. So I right click on heading one, select modify, click the format button and select font and change the text color and there are heaps of options in the format menu that you can look at. But when I hit OK, you can see that all of the headings update automatically. Now that we've applied and customized our heading styles, let's create a table of contents. So click where you want to insert the table of contents, go to the References tab in the ribbon, click Table of Contents in the Table of Contents group, and choose a style from the drop-down menu. And voila, your table of contents is now generated. And you can automatically update it uh, as you add or modify headings or spacing in your document. Now, if I add some new headings, I can easily apply the heading format and I can come back to the table of contents and update it easily too. And the same with the page numbers. And that's it. By using the heading styles and the table of contents feature in Microsoft Word, you can create a professional looking and easy to navigate document without the hassle of manual formatting. So let us know in the comments what other tutorials you'd like or your own favorite features of Word. And as always, hit like and subscribe to support our channel and you'll be notified when we post new material. Thanks for watching.